In the center of Pyongyang, thousands of North Koreans turned out in a show of force to the world. The students and soldiers shouted death to the U.S. imperialists. It came a few hours after their leader, Kim Jong-un, sent his own message, signing off on an order for his mid- and long-range missile units to stand by to attack the U.S. mainland and bases in the Pacific. In a statement attributed to him, he says the time has come to settle accounts with the U.S. imperialists in view of the prevailing situation, adding that U.S. hostilities have entered a reckless phase going beyond the phase of threat and blackmail. The midnight meeting is seen as a response to Thursday's training mission by American nuclear-capable B-2 stealth bombers, itself the bluntest of signals to Pyongyang. In Seoul on Friday, the defense ministry said the North Korean order appeared to be a ratifying of a statement earlier this week in which North Korea's rockets and artillery units were put on the highest state of combat readiness. South Korean and U.S. intelligence officials are closely observing any movements of North Korea's Scud, Rodong, Masudan and other short, mid and long-range missiles. The ministry wouldn't confirm or deny, however, a report in the Yonhap news agency quoting an unnamed official as saying increased movements had been detected at North Korean missile sites and that given their state of heightened combat readiness, a launch was possible. The question, of course, is whether North Korea's words will become practical military measures that have several times been threatened this week. The U.S. says it's taking what it calls more directly threatening rhetoric very seriously and denies that its own actions have fueled the situation. I don't think we're doing anything uh, extraordinary or provocative or, or out, of the, uh, uh, out, out of the orbit of what nations do to protect their own interests. And that has always been the key to calculations about North Korea's own intentions, that its leadership's interests would not be served by inviting a war they'd be near certain to lose. In the otherwise threatening text of Friday's statement was the return of a two-letter word, saying it would strike the U.S. if provoked a slight but possibly important downgrading of the language that it's been using in recent days. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.